What is up, y'all? It's a little late, but I got a bug request. Um, there's a question about the Shiny in the Pharmacy. The view full music metadata link seems to go to unrelated info. Is there a typo or something? Bang and track, though. Yeah, I uh, shipped a bug. Here is me recreating the bug. Um, the metadata that I put in is was left from Woora, who was the original site that I built the pharmacy around. So let's make a quick update. The reason I'm recording this is so that I don't get distracted and I can stay focused and hopefully do this quickly. So we've got this up and running. Um, first thing I'm gonna try to do is find where this link is. Let's go to the code base. And then we'll just command shift F to do a global search for viewful music metadata. Looks like it's right here. And we have linked to a hard coded IPFS link. Um, so what I want is the IPFS link for uh, shiny, so I'm going to go to OpenC and get that. I think we can get it from here. Let's look up shiny on OpenC. There it is. Let's take a quick, there we go. Nobody has sold this yet, which is freaking interesting. Not a lot of flippers right now with the holders of this track. Okay, so we do have it right there. Um, this should load up our metadata, and then we can just take this link, and then we can ship. Um, here's the full link. It's already got it all for us, so we'll take this. We will swap it out down here. Boop. Boop. Does it work now? Looks like it's already refreshed. Um, target should be blank, so I'm surprised that it did in the same tab. It should have opened up a new tab, but it does look like it updated our metadata. So now my only question is why why didn't it open why did it open it up in the same tab instead of a new tab? This is uh, probably just a bug with my internet connection or with my current browser session. So I'm gonna try to see if I can debug this real quick. It should just take the refresh. Why are you still opening it up in the same tab? We've got underlined A with an href. It's an HTTPS, should be a valid HTTPS. And we've got a target as double underscore blank. I've heard some people tell me it's single underscore, but when I make it single underscore, ah, ah, might be a no refer error. So let's add in this no refer error. Um, and let's see if that works. Let's go back to localhost. 3000. The longest step is always testing. All right, click it again. Now we've got a new tab with the correct metadata. Now the goal is to get this shipped. Super simple, so let's crash the server, get status, get add components to add the changes that we made. Then we'll commit those changes and to say, I fix link for full music metadata, writing the book of my life in GitHub commits, get status, get push origin suites bug, beautiful metadata. So go up to GitHub. This is a totally open source repository. So if you want to see this commit or you want to fork the code repository that I'm using, uh, this front end UI is built on top of Zora. So the original was open source MIT license. I forked it into another MIT license. And you can see it right here. It's the pharmacy minting page. Here's my new branch. I'll create a quick PR for it. I'm not going to leave any comments because I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible. Come over here. It's a very simple change. We updated the target slightly. We updated the rel to no refer. And we've got our href, which is the big change. I, I think for cell is still down. So we're not going to get a deploy preview. So I'm just going to ship this straight to main. And now let me see if I can force this change through Vercel. If not, we'll have to wait. So let's try Vercel build. Yes. Yes. Okay, I've not set up Vercel locally for this, so we're going to have to set it up now. Link to existing project. What's the name of the project? So i got to head over to Vercel. Um, and let's see if I can go directly there, just so that I don't have to share. I think it's pharmacy. So don't share the lists of all of my projects. It's just called pharmacy. So let's ship to pharmacy. 
Cool, it has downloaded everything. It's now running the build script. Once this runs, I should be able to just deploy directly with a pre-build. Vercel deploy CLI pre-build. And let me just make sure that we're not shipping anything. Yeah, four days ago was the last deployment. It did not catch. Vercel is still down, just verifying that Vercel is still down. Yep, Vercel is down um, over the past 40 some minutes. They deployments created through Git integration degraded. Current workaround is to deploy using the Vercel CLI. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to deploy with the Vercel CLI. We'll see if I can get that to work. Let's see if we can get this workaround. Okay, and now we just need to run Vercel deploy pre build. Hopefully, it's creating the optimized build while we're waiting. Salud. Life is fucking crazy. I'm living in Bariloche, Argentina right now and talking to a computer where I have no actual humans around me for miles. I've got a mountain outside and a lake out front. And this is life right now. We're shipping code while Vercel is down, trying to find workarounds, kind of talking to a computer and working through our ideas. On a recording that I'm going to upload to YouTube while we're interacting with people on Twitter. Okay, we have collected our page data. Everything's looking good here. So our next step is going to be to do our deploy. Deep breath. Paste, ship, and the question is, will this work? My guess is it's going to work. My only question is, is it going to deploy it to the production link or is it going to deploy it to its own channel preview? I really hope it deploys it to its own, or I hope it deploys it to the main deployment. We're now going to see the limits of my Wi-Fi. While it's nice that I'm living here, uh, at the base of the mountains in Bariloche, the Wi-Fi is like super, we're going to call it decent. I think I get like two megabytes download speed and probably half that, like one megabyte upload speed. So we're l three seconds, that's not right. I don't know what that number is, it's going both up and down couple deep breaths while we wait for this to go through. Maybe I should pause the video real quick. Let me see if I can pause the video on um, OBS just so that I cannot pause. I can only stop. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you don't want to just sit here and wait, feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to shut my eyes and take a couple deep breaths to recenter. Okay, we're deploying pre-built, let's see if it's, I'm wondering if this, this looks like, this makes me think it's going to be on a separate link that is not the main deployment, fingers crossed that this is a production deployment, this looks like it's an environment, or it's a preview environment, so, um, how do I ship it to prod? Vercel deploy pre-built production. I want to ship directly to production. Yeah, I want to make deploy. Oi. Oof. 
47 instances. Uh, you can prevent giving access to source code, generating build, hooks, for cell API. Where did you, you talked about production? Product. The ability to test new feature before merging the main branch. I want to create a production deployment. Upon for cell command creates, upon creating the first deployment for a project, okay. Ah, to create a production deployment, use the Vercel double dash prod command. Okay, so I have to, uh, let's go deploy double dash prebuilt. Is this what I want? The was used with the target environment, but the prebuild output was built for the target environment preview. Okay, we want, so let's go for cell prod build to do a build for production. Specified, uh, okay, let's just try a Vercel prod. I might have been overcomplicating it. Um, I hope you're not building up there, because if you are, it's probably not gonna work. But it looks like our deployments are working as long as we're leveraging the pre-built. Looks like it's building here, but our build has been triggered. We're triggering it for production, so this should work just fine. This should work just fine. And you, I think our pharmacy is pretty light. So this should be less than a minute build right here. And the fact that it's been offloaded from my local internet connection into Vercel should mean that it's a faster build. We're already creating the optimized build. And so I can start typing out the message in Discord to the holder while we're doing this, just so that, um, okay, we're gonna reply to this. Hey, at quite good catch baseball. I've fixed the bug and you can full you can view the full music metadata for shiny on the pharmacy rainbow emoji um, and then we'll link to, looks like it might have finished so now if we go over to prod which is just going to be our normal pharmacy.chillerx.io pharmacy Let's go there, my computer's making noises that make me think I'm pressing it too hard. Um, if I click on this, ooh, it opens up shiny. So we have officially fixed it. This has been how we deployed the fix from moment of identifying the bug to get the fix all the way shipped to production. Thank you for tuning in. If you got any questions, let me know. This is Sweetman.e, signing off.